Welcome back, my name is Power Piku, the game Sly Cooper 2, Band of Thieves. Last time, we did a mini game, dancing, that nearly caused me to lose my mind. We did a mini game with Murray, using his strength to lift up a lever, that nearly made me lose my mind. And we had a ring around the rosy with elephants, that nearly made me lose my mind. <laughs> so I don't have a whole lot of mind left to lose. But fortunately, I have a... I think I've more or less gotten it to a point where it no longer eats inputs. And uh, the frame rate's a lot better. I don't know what exactly I did that fixed it, but hey, I'm not going to take it apart and risk it breaking again. Murray's rotund features prevent him from fitting through the drain pipe, so we'll need you to unlock the vault room from the inside. I've heard through a reliable source that the guards keep the vault combination written beneath one of their break tables. So you ah, need to crawl in the itch till I find it. That's the idea. I had my fan on. So if you heard a little something something in the background, that was my fan. My space fan. So uh whoops. So I also would like to commit not alive because I am now officially an airhead. So some of you may or may not have noticed the last episode, the game audio was missing. This is because I try, I, this is because I switched my commentary recording over from my desktop to my laptop, but I forgot that OBS was recording the audio through my microphone. And so that's why there was no audio. And then I forgot to change it back. So I had to start a whole new file and play all the way back up to this point. So I'm a wee bit salty. Anyway, the code this is always is under this last table. Now type the code into the and laser door entrance. Fortunately, you don't have to remember the code. Nice work. Make your way to the security lockdown switch and let it be in Murray. Because if my peanut brain had to remember a 10 hour, a 10 digit code or whatever it was, well, we'd be here all year. I'd love to see the look. Whoops. I'd love to see the look on Rajan's face when he finds this vault empty. The code should be 857. It's the insanity strike! Probably my favorite move to just mess around with. Oh well. Now watch this. Why does a switch spark when I throw it? That ain't right. Thanks for breaking us in, pal. The Murray approves. Let's get down to brass tacks. I need to hack both the vault room computers to get control of the electronic winch above the ballroom. So what are me and Sly here for? The second I enter their servers, they'll be on to us. You guys need to work together to keep the thugs off my back. You and me, pal, side by side. The Murray knows no fear. Okay, I'm in. Hacking the level six barrier. 
as much as I love Sly, the polygon count on these models is, uh, I don't know, archaic, distracting. Almost there. Got it. Moving on to the level five system. So anyway, there's two important things to know about this mission. It's dictated by how many goons you kill. And sooner or later, the goons stop dropping things when you kill them. Okay, I'm close. So, uh, get off a bet, mate. I really wish I would auto run during combat. I really wish when your HP was full, any HP packs would automatically go to the target you're protecting. But that would be broken. I also, also wish that uh, Bentley was immune. His trans his, uh, transferring from computer to computer, but I understand why that's the case because it would be broken. I'm so close. Sly, please do something, you useless sack of potatoes. Gosh darn it. I don't know how speedrunners do it. How do they make this level? How do they make this mission consistent? Because from where I'm sitting, it feels like a lot of this mission's success depends on how useful Sly is feeling at any given moment. Maybe I'm just overextending myself when trying to fight these bad guys. Sly, please stop going after the same target I'm going after. What happened over there? When I was playing through the game again to get back to where I was, I had so much trouble getting back to doing the, uh, the uh, pump destroy mission because I kept killing the rats with triangle square instead of triangle circle to grab them because I had just done this mission and triangle square was kind of locked into my muscle memory. So that's a thing. Stay off of my bet, Leif. I'm so close. Yes. Headed for level two. Did he just run off the cliff? I feel like that's what's happened. Interesting. Almost have it! Going for level one access! Why have these guys continued to drop coins? And why did I run into them like that? Why am I such an airhead? How can I be so stupid? This is tense. I can taste it. You can't taste nothing, turtle. Shut up and let me do my job. I think these are the last two. I'm unstoppable. I 
I've got control of the winch. Thanks for the backup, guys. No problem. Me and the big guy had it covered. Murray, let's hook up the direct feed and get out of here while the coast is clear. <laughs> Phew. Okay, so this next mission, the one with Bentley and the RC chopper, love it to death. It's kind of hard to control the chopper. And uh, when I last tried to record it, I did it perfect. Not a single scratch on the chopper, even though the, uh, The things Bentley says when his precious RC is getting damaged is quite amusing, if I do say so myself. But alas, if the other recording had indeed survived, you would have not have heard it. And I hope you don't hear it this time. Because I was rather proud of that. And I also no-hit the Murray section of the heist. So it was doubly proud. All right, Bentley. Time to get out and about. And straight for the mission. There she blows. I see her in the distance. There's a light in the distance. See it coming closer with the folds of ages. Centuries gone by. Bentley, what's your status? I'm in position with the RC chopper. All systems are go to neutralize their surface to air defenses. We're going to need free reign of the sky during the heist. Well, be careful. Chopper parts aren't cheap. Hostile has been sighted. Hey, Bentley, use the left analog stick to steer the chopper and hit the X button to drop bombs. If you lose track of the Jeep, I'll project a holographic targeting arrow. Follow it back into the action. Chopper parts may not be cheap, but even though my few, few brain cells are at a premium. <laughs> they are fairly cheap. Oh, come now. There we go. Ah, no! I'm a failure. I have brought shame upon my family. How can I how can I show my face in public now? I can't get married anymore. I can't become a bride anymore. <laughs> oh well. Nice flight, partner. That jeep's out of commission and we'll have clear skies for the heist. <laughs> Okay, synchronize your watches. This heist is going to take extreme precision. Here's the plan. I'll start things off by demolishing the palace's main bridge. That should cut off reinforcements from the guest house and hopefully distract the ballroom guards standing watch over the clockwork wings. Sly will then take Carmelita up on her offer for a dance, and while the crowd is transfixed by their tango, Murray will lower into the ballroom on the electronic winch. Once down, he'll cut the wings free and then winch back up for an exit. Murray should then make his way out of the palace. I'll cover his exit with the RC chopper. Once he's past the drawbridge, we're home free. All right, it's time to do this again. 
unfortunately, without the dangers of, of devoured inputs. And hey, it hasn't really lagged at all. So yeah, fixed. I'm a genius. I don't know what I did. I'm an airhead, I'm a genius, I'm an idiot, I'm a smarty. Okay, Bentley. Murray and I are moving into position. You still think you can demolish something that large? It doesn't take an engineer to figure out how to blow up a bridge. I'll start by placing charges on all of the lower cleats. Once the structure destabilizes, those retainer rings on the upper cleats should pop right off. That should enable me to bomb all of the upper cleats which will bring it all crashing down. Just watch your head when that thing gets unstable. We need that brain of yours in one piece. I love this music. Also, Bentley says, it doesn't take an engineer to blow up a bridge. But instead of saying something clever, it's like, you just need a big enough bomb. He explains how to blow up the bridge like an engineer. Bogus, I did not see the fall shadow of that rock. You are cheating me, video game. to drop two bombs to destroy each of the upper cleats. I know most of you probably know this, but I have to pretend to at least try to be educational. And to safety. Power you need and look into it. Murray, you in position? Check. It looks like Bentley's little distraction did the trick. Initiate phase two. I'll take care of Carmelita and the crowd. You handle the heavy lifting. Miss Fox, I believe you owe me a dance. About time. I thought you had left. Just waiting for the perfect moment. Now, I know I'm probably not the first person to mention this ever, but what's Bentley doing on the wrong side of the bridge? Like, how does he get to the end? Because we see in the cinematic that he's clearly on the side of the guest house when the bridge goes down. My own personal theory? Well... You look familiar to me. Are you in law enforcement? I often deal with police while on the job. I think Bentley uses his RC chopper to fly himself over. Also, Carmelita, you're staring him right in the face. How on earth are you not recognizing him? After all the hours you've undoubtedly spent looking at his wanted posters. Nice. And doing other things with his wanted posters. Also, I quite enjoy how you can see Murray lowering and rising again during the heist. Even though Carmelita should have plenty of opportunities to see Murray ascending and descending,
But he, she doesn't. So, oh well. Also, Sly is wearing his family emblem on his belt buckle. How does Carmelita not notice? Tell me, stranger. What's your name? Why ruin the moment? Huh? I, I don't understand. The wings! What happened to the clockwork wings? What? How? Who could have... What? Cooper! Let's see if I can manage to not bungle this. These things are heavy. Yes, I know. Gosh, darn it. I hate controlling this thing. I love it. I hate it. I don't know what to feel. This is tense. I'm just a... A mess of conflicting emotions. I'm a mess of contradictions. I'm just a mess in general. Oh well. I'm just really glad there's no friendly fire. Alright. So far so good. I don't know why they bother giving the chopper HP in this section. Because as far as I know, you can't get hurt as the chopper. Only Murray can take damage here. Alright, we're 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 done here. Success, we we did it without taking any damage. After the gang and I got away with the clockwork wings, Carmelita blew her cover and started making arrests left and right. With his reputation in shambles, Rajan was forced to flee from his own party. He's now in hiding, somewhere deep in the jungle. The gang and I took a break and headed for Bollywood. It took some doing, but we eventually snuck Murray onto the set of a full-blown Indian musical. I was happy the guys got to unwind, but Rajan was still out there. And somehow, I knew things were about to get tough. Alright. All that done in less than 25 minutes. Thank goodness. And hopefully... Nothing bad happens to this recording because I might just cry if anything were to happen to it. But until next time, when we will be doing our usual bottle hunting in The Predator Awakens, Episode 3, remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring the little ding bell, and if you'd be so kind, get off my lawn, you filthy casuals.